Hello everyone, it's nice to it's nice to uh, meet you here. Now I am making a presentation about the, how to use our temperature kiosk. Now, uh, this is our stuff. Here is using the mouse to plug in the USB port. Okay, the mouse. Uh, this is wait, wait. This is our CMS running page. So every time when you uh, when you receive our products uh, after you switch on the screen. You will see the blue page. So, what you need to do is uh, exit this page. Okay, double click, uh, right, double right click on the mouse, and then click exit. Okay. Uh, for the first step, you need to connect the Wi-Fi. Okay, go to settings. Okay, choose the Wi-Fi. Yeah, and you can select uh, the Wi-Fi that you need to connect. Okay. Now we connect this Wi-Fi. Okay. After finish the connecting with the Wi-Fi, uh, you can see this one apps named OMC Terminal. Well, turn it on. Okay, open it. Okay, you will see this device number. Device number. You need to remember. You need to remember this number. Shortly, we will use it. Okay. Okay, you can see on the bottom this one option and settings. Click it. Okay. You need to uh, type the password. The password is A. Okay. Okay. You see? Okay. Click uh, temp settings. Temp center setting. Click it. Okay. So uh, right now you will see all options is in the off status. Okay. We need to turn it on. The first is uh, turn on the sensor. This sensor is for is meaning for measurement uh, of the of your body temperature. Okay, turn it on. Now it's set up. Okay, okay. So uh, this sensor is meaning for turn on the measurement of the body temperature. Now it's on. Uh, the second is uh, turn on the liquid. The liquid means um, inside our kiosk, we build in the sensor to detect uh, the uh, status of the hand, hand sanitizer. So when the sanitizer is running out, this sensor will tell you. So right now, because this is new products, we turn on the liquid sensor. We turn on this. We turn on liquid. So it's showing empty. So close it. Okay. This this is voice. This is meaning. When we when we put your put our hands to detect our body temp, it will it will read your it will read, read your body temp and the, the temp lab the temp level. Will, will come out on the screen. At the same time, it will read, it will, uh, it will read your body temperature with with sound. So this is that option. You can turn it on. But if you don't need this uh, sound, you can turn it off. Okay. For this, turn on the camera. The camera is meaning uh, our software absolutely absolutely has the face detection function. So you can. Mm, turn on the camera firstly, and then turn on the face recognition. Okay, this the third step is uh, turn on the face temperature. What is that means? The turn on face turn on face temperature. That is meaning when the kiosk when the camera, you see this one is the camera and this one is the sensor. When the camera is detecting your face, then it will detect your body temp. I mean, moment. When the camera, when the camera detect, when the camera detect your face, this moment the sensor can detect your body temperature. Otherwise, it cannot. Otherwise, it cannot detect your uh, body temperature. So, actually, this moment uh, the the uh, the camera is just uh, for activating the temp sensor. Okay. Let's let's go. Let's go back to the original page. So uh, this is this this option is meaning uh, we can use the camera to activate the temp sensor. Okay. Turn on face uh, face collection. That is meaning uh, turn on the face capture. 
uh, shortly it will show you. You see, uh, now it's uh, it's now it's capturing my face. It's capturing my face. Body temperature 36.4 normal. You see? So it's it's got a cup it's 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 getting a capture for my face. And this capture will will upload to our server. Short later we will show you the server. How how we how we use it. Okay. We can we can we we can also we can also name we can put input our name like me Frank and uh, in depart which department we can upload this record to re server see upload so next time next time I can I can I can do this. Now this is a second staff. She is also uh, he also want to record the capture. Okay. So Now we can try. We can try to use the camera to te detect our face. Body temperature 36.5 normal. He should, his face should be in Body the dash line. In the dash line. Normal. So now uh, we, we just try to use the camera to detect the face. Moment. Moment. Let's try it one more time. You see? Now it's, it's detecting the face and know the people's name. Now let me try my face. See? Frank, attack. Okay. Good. So, the all settings is, is done. The next step, we need to go to the uh, our server, server settings. I will, uh, I will show you now. Now uh, you can find any one laptop with Windows system, and you can uh, after you connect the network internet, uh, you can type our our uh, this address this address, and uh, use the Google Chrome to open it. Then the login username is the device number. The device number is the one. Uh, it's the one um, just now. I I. I, I remind you to remember that. So this is the device number. You need to copy the device number and the key and the the password. The factory password is uh, one two three four five six one two six. Okay, login. So uh, after you login, you will you will see there are many there are many records for 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 the. For the face, because just now we used the machine, use our face, so it is sh it is showing our face here, and you can see the you can see the temperature and the face, and the, the time detail the time, and you will see uh, because we just re added the record in the in the database, so we you we will see the Frank and and the department is the tech. Okay. Also, if you wanna, if you wanna, uh, I mean, if you wanna register new face into the system, you can also make, you can also operate it here. For example, uh, for example, this is unknown, unknown data. We can also click this edit to stocking, and you can, you can, you can, uh, you can, you can def uh, definite the name. The people's name and the people's in which in which company from which company and uh, in which department and the ID number ID number ID number. After finished, we can we can type anything to just for example. Then just to submit. So it's 
is showing us successful. And then after you finish this, you can click the face database. In the face database, you see there are totally three records. There are totally three, uh, three, three, three data. So in this in this list, you can you can see uh, these two. This two is is the this two uh, is the one we we made it in the in the kiosk. But this one is the new one that we made it in the in the server. So we can also add it and. Or if you don't like it, you can you can delete it. See, you can we can add it uh, in which organization and which dip, and which and what is the ID number? Okay. After finish, you can click submit. Okay. So, uh, so uh, we show you the other other functions. You can click. Uh, you can click uh, equipment management, and click it. Details. Click details, and then you can go to the settings. In these settings, you can you can set up the temperature sensors. You can also set up temperature sensor. See here. This. This is the. This is also the. Um, that same function. I mean, in this area, open is meaning turn on the sensor for measurement of body temperature. If you don't want to use it, you can turn off the sensor. You can turn off, turn off the measurement function, and also you can turn on and turn off the voice, the reading voice, the reading, reading temperature voice. Okay. Now after we finish the settings in the server, now we can check again in the kiosk. Now we are, I am standing in the front of the kiosk, so I will try my face. I will try to use my face again to detect. You see, uh, because just now we added the, the information for organizations, so now it's showing, it's showing Marvel. Let me show you again. You see, Marvel and Tech, and the, my ID number is 545454. Okay, so all settings is done.